The Bora in the Tatras is a crushing wind, which in the Popratska valley is covered by warm air. It results in heavy squalls on the Tatra slopes that in this case devastated 12,600 hectares around the Freedom Path. During the last hundred years, this phenomenon has become considerably more dramatic and it's caused by changes in the climate. Nature repays us for our behavior. As we globally affect the climate, the same thing could happen in the Alps as well as outside of Europe. I've heard opinions that nature should be able to cope with such calamities on its own. We could leave it up to nature. People could leave pull down houses and close highways, or they'll take care of it. People have already looked after nature in the Tatras for so many years, and they should continue with it. The idea of the water forest is to renew the landscape. The first step is to retain as much rainwater in it as possible, which will help new forests to grow. People care about solving this problem by planting palm trees, cacti or spruces. The majority of people just spectate, but only from afar. If more of such activities would be organized, it could already look better now for all of the guests. I'm just glad that even international representatives are interested. Not just Slovak, but Czech, English and other people. It's a fiddly work, but it's always better to do something than to just watch. Looking at them, one can see that they don't do it for the money. They really want to help the Tatras and they really give their best.
The fire broke out straight after a disastrous storm affecting 230 hectares of land. It will be interesting to watch how the affected area will be renewed after the fire. I hope that any potential solutions regarding the renewal of the Tatras are considered and compared in order to gain more quality knowledge necessary for restoration of a damaged area. We could leave it destroyed, but only in the most protected areas, but not about the village. The story of the Tatras forest has positively affected flood protection. Rainwater won't flow away, but will remain in the area. Our solution is global. More water will remain in the whole area, preventing it from drying out fast and causing extreme weather disorders. More than 4,000 barrages were made in the water forest, having a catch volume of over 20,000 cubic meters. They are designed to catch any flooding rains, especially during summer, and to gradually saturate the soil. Thanks to these arrangements, the newly planted trees will have a chance to grow faster. Due to urbanization, 250 million cubic meters of water per year disappears in Slovakia. It's questionable whether we are able to prevent Slovakia from drying out, as well as from weather disorders, floods, natural disasters or extreme flooding rains. Keeping the water in the countryside is one of the options on how to solve the situation. We are saying leave the rainwater in the countryside. In the next few decades, water will be considered to form one of the strategic raw materials and it only depends on the young people as to what solution they can think of and implement them. The water forest should provoke people to seriously deal with this problem. For a start, we should change our attitude towards nature. If we continue to behave to nature in this manner, she may decide not to tolerate it anymore. Everything can be done instantly. It will take many years to solve. It mainly depends on how each of us is brought up.